Six, our extreme weather is a growing concern for the farmers who try to make a living off these summer crops. Meteorologist Tara Hastings shows you how all the rain and heat have affected sweet corn. While well, farmers have to take advantage of what Mother Nature provides, the amount of rain and heat not only impacts what you may see at the farmer's market, but when you may see it there as well. At Hungry Toad Farm, weeding is the project of the day. Owner Michael Malone is calling this season's weather conditions extreme. April and May, we had so much rain, unprecedented rainfall, that we couldn't get crops in until late. And even when we could get them in, we couldn't really hoe them. Malone is an organic farmer and doesn't use chemicals. He was a little late planting some of his crops. You know, there's peppers, there's eggplants, there's corn, tomatoes. And to keep them all healthy, he uses manpower. As an organic farmer, I'm not using chemicals to kill weeds, which means we either have to hoe, cultivate with a tractor if possible, or pull it with our hands. No matter how hot, workers are in the elements, staying hydrated, covered, and getting a little dirty. The hot weather is not bad for the plants. It's good for the plants. They like the sunshine and the heat. But heavy rain once in a while benefits plants and workers. Michael likes to live by the weather. The last rain that we had really soaked up the soil and allowed the weeds to come out really easily. So that'll mature later on. This is one of the first ones. Not a great specimen yet. The fruits of their hard labor are beginning to show, and soon they'll be ripe and ready for all of us to enjoy. And because of that wet spring, Malone's sweet corn will be ready in August. You can find him and other farmers at the farmer's market Saturdays on 2nd Street in downtown Dayton. I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News on your side.